Always, if you have a hurting back or a stiff neck, you want some relief. Dr. Kirk Erickson is a chiropractor and he has some new modalities for treating those problems, especially if you have a disc problem. Dr. Erickson, I know that I've had achy necks before and you put me on one of those procedures the last time I went in to see you, but primarily some of your new equipment is addressing back pain and disc misalignment. Yes, this is called decompression traction therapy, and it is quite effective for patients that have chronic back and leg pain or neck and arm pain. And particularly if it's caused by a degenerative disc, a bulge disc, or even a ruptured disc. And, you know, we work with uh, two really good surgeons here in Dothan, Dr. Henry Barnard for orthopedic surgery and Dr. Nicholas Voss for neurosurgery. And they're very good at what they do, but surgery must be a last resort. And I think many times when we hear that we have a damaged disc, we think we have to have surgery. Mm -hmm. And as those doctors would agree that we must exhaust all forms of conservative care first before we get surgery. And, and this is one of those and such And that's methods. one of the things that you can do to treat relieving the pain without medication usually. You know. Absolutely. Now we have some pictures and you'll have to explain mm -hmm. it because I'm, I mean, it's yes. very interesting. On the left, we have a, uh, a disc and of course a cross section of the spine. And a disc is composed of two parts. The, the inside is, is like a gelatinous or a jelly type substance. And it is surrounded by an outer harder uh, cartilage type substance. What happens when you get a bulged or ruptured disc is that over time you have trauma that damages the outer protective covering and those little tears allows the inside jelly to eventually start to leak through mm -hmm. and actually can uh, when it leaks through it, it presses and pinches nerves what this uh, therapy that I'm going to discuss today can actually do, studies have actually shown where it can actually draw in the bulged or ruptured material. Oh, that sounds incredibly good. The, the whole key to this traction therapy is to create decreased pressure in the disc. That mm -hmm. is the key because the way a disc stays healthy is by uh, circulation of nutrients in the disc and, and that is accomplished by movement and decreasing pressure on the disc and that's what the traction is designed to do. Okay. Uh, specifically, uh, and here's a, a picture of the, the therapy done on the lower back, what we do here is instead of just stretching somebody, because if you just stretch somebody, the muscles are going to stay tight and that will not allow the disc to decompress. Mm -hmm. the, the, the technology will, will cause traction in increments mm -hmm. that allows the muscles to first relax before it pulls more. And what's very unique about this is that we will provide the traction at specific angles that will target specific discs. I want to go right now, okay. Here is a, a picture of a before and after patient who is under, who did not actually get traction, but just received chiropractic care, upper cervical care actually. Mm -hmm. And you see a huge ruptured disc in the patient on the left. And after a period of months, you see another MRI where the ruptured disc is completely gone. Wow. The next one is. Okay. Are we Okay. The next one is a before and after x-ray of one of my patients that again, you can see he went from a 10 degree curve to a, uh, I think it's a 36 degree curve, strictly from chiropractic care. Actually, no traction. So the thing I would mention is that as many patients as this type of decompression traction therapy can help, there's just as many patients that it either cannot help or it's not necessary. All right, so sometimes you have to, all right, and now what are we looking But at? correcting spinal alignment is still the key. If you mm -hmm. just do this type of therapy without correcting the alignment, you're not going to address all of the causes. And this shows a posture that is severely distorted and causes unequal pressure on a disc and that's what a chiropractor does is straighten someone's posture. So you sometimes you can use this therapy sometimes it's not necessary. And it also can be used on the cervical spine as well and is very effective particularly even with patients we use it with patients with headaches mm -hmm. chronic headaches because even if it's not for their disc if you just relax relax the muscles and the joints and, and, and reset the little joints in the upper neck it can be very effective for people with chronic headaches as well. Oh wow. And it's very comfortable. I tried it on my neck, or you tried it on my neck. The yes. Last time I went in, I was having a little neck pain. This, now, tell us what this is. This is a research paper that I had published on a patient of mine in an Index Medicus research journal. It is a patient that had a ruptured disc in his neck. And what's uh, interesting about this is that this patient was incapacitated for one year, was not able to work, was in incredible pain. After one week of care, he was significantly improved. By one month, he was completely fully recovered. 
discovered. And wow. again, this occurred from, without the use of traction, uh, this was just from strictly the orthospinology care that we provide in our office. So you have a different modality. You can do the regular uh, treatment to the spine, and then if it's needed, you can do the, if it's a disc, whether it's a, a, a bulging disc or whatever, you can treat it. Absolutely. Um, you know, we always want to work, and you do work well with the profession, the medical doctors, and so it is a combined effort to get people well. And uh, there's uh, some new MRIs, a state of the art that we probably need to talk about. Let's explain that. Yeah, maybe if we have time on another show I could mention, but I send most of my patients um, to Birmingham or Atlanta to receive the latest technology uh, for MRIs. And see, as we talked before about decreasing pressure on a disc, when you're doing this therapy, you want to decrease the pressure on the disc. But when you do an MRI, you want to increase pressure on the disc because you want to see what's going on with that disc in the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. So studies show that you put more pressure on your discs when you're sitting and leaning forward or standing and leaning forward. So when you do this new MRI that's all encompassing, you can actually see that and Absolute, get the result. Because you're actually sitting in an open, uh, open magnet, you're actually watching TV the entire time you're getting scanned, and uh, instead of laying flat on your back stuck in a tube, we get so much more information from this new technology. It's very exciting and uh, I'm very happy and to very send very helpful to, to you. Absolutely. Our very special guest, Dr. Kirk Erickson, and if you would like to call with uh, uh, questions, you may call 793-7992 or go on the web www.chirohealthinstitute.com. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Kirk Erickson.